five. The 700 series from Ride One Up is one seriously feature-packed e-bike. Some people think of e-bikes as detuned motorbikes that have nothing to do with cycling, but they'd be wrong. The 700 series has all the features you'd want in an e-bike all tucked away to preserve that classic mountain bike look. It's a class three e-bike, able to hit speeds of 20 miles per hour on electric power alone, with a max speed of 28 miles per hour when you're pumping your quads and giving it a bit of pedal assist. Power comes via a 78 volt, 750 watt Shengi geared hub motor capable of putting out an impressive 60 Newton meters of torque. Perfect for hill climbs, every cyclist's least favorite part of riding a bike. A series of Samsung battery cells concealed within the mainframe contains a combined charge of 14 amp hours. This translates into a range of 30 to 50 miles, depending on variables like the rider's weight, the slope of the terrain, the rider's willingness to pedal, and things like that. The frame is manufactured from a lightweight metal alloy to keep the 700 series fast and agile. All the electronic gizmos and gadgetry are concealed within, protecting it from the elements and the tinkering of curious owners. The addition of front and rear shock absorbers means that ride comfort is never an issue. Ride One Up will release the Prodigy in 2022, a lighter, faster, more grippy variant designed to tackle the trails. It will sport a more refined Bros control system and a motor with 50% more torque, pushing out 90 Newton meters. Four. The aptly named Bullet from Santa Cruz Bicycles sets itself aside from other e-bikes. Instead of being an A to B option and part-time adventurer, the design brief was focused on creating something custom built to dominate the steepest dirt trails and the wildest crests along rocky outcrops. Agility and brilliant handling can be found with the Bullet thanks to a robust fork and frame suspension system that allows up to 170 millimeters of travel on both front and rear. That's a hell of a lot of impact the bike can take before bottoming out. Likewise, the fork is wider than other e-bikes at 38 millimeters, extending down to Maxxis double-down tires that are made to do only one thing, grip dirt and grip it well. Interestingly, this e-bike uses mixed size wheels. The 29 inch up front creates a large area of contact that is brilliant for maintaining traction. At the same time, the 27 and a half inch rear wheel gives that little bit more clearance for your back end and makes a more responsive and quicker handling bike. The entry level R-Spec has all the goodies, including a combination of 650 watt hour Shimano batteries and the Shimano E7000 drive unit. The top of the line X01 coil sees improvements made all across the board, with the heavier duty suspension, better quality crankshafts, shifters, brakes, hubs, rims, you name it, and the X01 coil has it. The big selling point is the lighter, more efficient, and more powerful E8 series Shimano electric motor. I'm Allie and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time by looking at just these images. Do you know what this is and where it's from? 
leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Three. Can we just start out by saying we love fat tires? The Ristretto 303 FS from Atelier and Tonic has some of the chunkiest monkeys you'll ever see grace a bicycle rim, letting you know it's built for going on adventures. This e-bike is nothing short of a beast. At its heart, beats a powerful 3500 watt motor capable of propelling the Ristretto 303 FS along at the maximum legal speed of 28 miles per hour. Still, with just the press of a button, you initiate race mode. This isn't for the faint of heart, nor for use on any commercial or public roads or footpaths. Once race mode is engaged, the electric motor is given free rein to operate at full capacity, sending the rider hurtling along at 40 miles per hour. The smart LED display allows for customization of various parameters like the max power setting, the throttle response rate, and the level of pedal assist the rider desires, if any at all. Up front are twin LED headlights that feature both low and high beams, and a blinking function. Ride comfort is maintained via Wodafusi shock absorbers all around. They are fully adjustable so you can set your own compression and rebound rates based on your preferences. A pair of extra-wide 26-inch TerraVail Coronado tires wrap the rims, which come to a stop thanks to 203mm TRP hydraulic disc brakes. The saddle is well padded to prevent a sore rear end and comes wrapped in a waterproof leather finish. Another set of two rear-facing lights are located just under the saddle to ensure the rider is seen by other road users. What are you looking for in an e-bike? Do you value speed, torque, and long battery life? Or does the perfect e-bike for you look like a regular bike in disguise? Let us know in the comments. Two. Lamborghini makes beautiful cars, no doubt. But what most fail to realize is the research and development that go into them. The engine, the gearbox, the aerodynamics, every facet of a top-of-the-range flagship model is cutting edge in every way, shape, and form. Now, they've turned their hand to e-bikes, and you can expect the same. The aptly named Sporter is Lamborghini's offering targeting riders making the commute to work or just riding around the cityscape in general. It looks sleek and elegant, and the fact that the moving parts, chains, sprockets, wiring, and all the other bits that make it go are concealed behind a snazzy cover really does give it that extra polish. Better yet, the mono arm that houses all the mechanical gear and electronics is waterproof, further adding to the sporter's longevity. This is the only e-bike on the market that pairs a high-efficiency 500-watt electric motor with a race car transmission system. The gearbox contained in the mono arm is an electronic sequential using computer-controlled rotary gear selection that makes jumping up or down a gear a seamless experience. The Sporter even comes with an optional set of tires with extra grip for use on gravel tracks. However, at that stage, you're crossing into the territory of the next model up, pun intended. The Crosser is made for just that, cross-country. As you'd expect, the suspension, brakes, tires, and linkages are all beefed up to handle all the lumps and bumps you'd encounter riding through the wilderness. It even features a security pin code required to unlock the back wheel and shift the gearbox from neutral into drive. The Rumble & Henry Air SST is one weird-looking e-bike. 
Kind of like an AR-15 and an old Triumph motorcycle had a love child. It's modeled after the old cafe-style racer, both in appearance and performance. This thing is a jet, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The Air SST blurs the line between a low-powered electric motorbike and a super high-powered bicycle, thanks to a substantial 72-volt, 50-amp-hour lithium-ion battery hooked up to a 5,000-watt hub-mounted electric motor. To translate all that into English, you can travel 100 miles easily on a single charge and crank speeds of 65 miles per hour while you do it. You'd better believe we're recommending you wear a full face helmet and riding leathers when you take this bad boy for a trip out onto the roads, if it's even legal to do so where you live. The cafe-style racer impression comes from a continuous tank and seat arrangement and the laser-cut cover panels that sit over the middle of the frame. It comes with a single front headlight, rear taillights, and even turning signal lights, just like a real motorbike. The front fork is sporting a pretty beefy suspension. Another coilover gas strut type sits between the seat and the rear swing arm, providing articulation and movement to the rear wheel. Speaking of wheels, they're massive. A full 18-inch tire that looks every bit like a road tire, and it's 3.75 inches wide to boot. At their center, 205mm disc brakes to ensure the Air SST stops on a dime. The best part is that these e-bikes are fully customizable. You select the handlebars you want, the lighting, the steering style, grips, color, whatever your heart desires. Definitely worth investigating if you enjoy going crazy fast while looking crazy good. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.